Welcome to the broadcast, everybody. How are you guys today? Today I'm introducing the Uncommon Tarot today. So yeah, I'm just going to get right to it. It's a very thin book. It's not real long. Very short and to the point. These cards are gilded. This is um, subscribe, like, and share. Hit that bell notification so you don't miss another upload. This is 21 plus. This is raw, uncut, unfiltered, unbiased reader. I have no idea what the messages will be before the messages come out. As well as, um, please stay to the end of the message to get the full of full effect of the message and meaning. Take only what resonates with you and leave the rest. This is a 21 plus reading again. 21 plus. There will be um. You know, nudity in these cards, as well as I'll be using my sexual magic cards. So, yeah, it's for adults, grown and sexy. So, yeah, suggestions and questions can be left in the comments. Take only what resonates and leave the rest. Return to sender, ill will, and then malice intent in the comments. Return to sender, right back at you. Anyway, <clears throat> and yeah, y'all, how are you? I hope you are having a great day, evening, or night, whenever you are watching this reading. So, yeah, let's get started, y'all. I'm really not even going to show you the cards. I don't really know the cards. It's new to me. We're going to go. We're going to go from from the top. Make it drop. That's what we're going to go with. Mm -hmm, you know. I told you, this is always raw, uncut. I never know what the messages are going to be. I never know what's going to happen, what they going to say. I just never know, you know. I just never, never know. So, I like to be able to show you when I'm doing it. Before I used to do it and be profound, like, wow, I should be showing this to somebody. Okay, but these are the backs of the cards. These are the sides. They'll gild it. Really nice deck. I just needed something different. I was bored. Needed something different. I'm one of those readers that I get, um, I get a lot of different types of messages coming through, and I like to be able to, to pick and choose to see what it's going to be. I'm just going to give this a good, get a little good quick shuffle. Let's start there. That's what they're going to tell me. And at the bottom of the deck, we got the Nine of Wands. That is the Wounded Warrior in our older decks that we've been had. But, you know, we don't know yet. We're in a new deck. We're in a different type of... Uh, they said this is uncommon. All uncommon things. Anything uncommon can happen in these situations. So, just know this is all uncommon. I don't know who here... Four and thirty-seven. So this is a block. Somebody blocking here. It's a lot of cards here. I know I pulled this many. They gave me a full reading, fresh out the deck, fresh out the box. They gave me a full reading. Let me see. Show did. They sure did give me a full reading with this card deck, right out the deck, out the box. All right. I guess they think I could, it's a chance. They said it's, I could deal it. Deal it, deal it, deal it. This is the three of wands. This will be normally you surveying your area. This is you and your donkey or your horse. To tell me you got some options around wands. Still tell me about something, about some passion, person, place, or thing. Objective, near, um, adjective, four of wands. This is the four of wands. Well, normally in the four of wands would be, um, now this got two people, a man and a, a woman. Somebody is, somebody is feeling some kind of way for somebody here. Wands, two sets of wands, four and three and four, three and four, and now we got the five. Uh 
Mm -hmm. So it's conflict. Somebody fighting here. Somebody observing here. Somebody's got an obstacle here. Somebody got confusion here. Alright. Alright, so this is the... It's the star. This is the hope and the wish. Hopeless. Helpless. Divine masculine. And what he hopeless about? We gotta get his sexual magic. He ain't hopeless about nothing. And this is the moon. This is the secrets. This is that fight or flight. You see little 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 leopards? Little baby leopards? So you don't think they're little beasts? You don't think their little little um, bites will hurt? You don't think their little claws will hurt you? They will. You don't think they'll hiss at you like a big leopard would? Yes. Right in your face. See, it's right in your face. Look at that moon secrets. The secret of how beastly this one these can be. They might be like immature. They might be kiddish type of way. You know, immature. But they beastly immature. Ruthless. You know, cutthroat. You know, broady. You know, that type of thing. Bold. Cunning. Mm -hmm. I'm following you. These cards are really cute. I hope you guys are really enjoying them. So I like the really the, the the pictures are very vivid. And I hope y'all guys are really enjoying them. I am. Okay, so now we have this eight of wands. So we got like a row of wands in here. So I I mean I can't say I didn't shuffle my deck, but my deck is definitely, you know, fresh out the pack, fresh out the fresh out the gate. And these are the cards that came out on my gate. Alright. So these is the um six of wands. Six of wands is wanting victory over a person, place, or thing. Now adjective verb. Whew, excuse me. That was a sneeze. And this is the awakening. Somebody's knowing something here. Somebody knows something here. Somebody was feeling some kind of an epiphany about something here and yeah, something happened it came to them and now they are aware and awakened about the things that has happened and then we have the sun so the cards are definitely shuffled okay and then now we have the sun okay this is the message no matter how many in a row or how many not, it's still because I got three in the wands. I got the star. I got the moon. I got the wands. I got the awakening. I got the sun. And I got the nine of wands again. So this card deck is definitely shuffled. Alright, so tell me some things about this situation. Tell me about the awakening. What are you awakening to? What was awakened to you here? What was you awakening to? We're awakening to oh, two X's in this world. Two X's is in this world. We also have a third party, three of wands on this five of five of wands for conflict. So it's the three of wands. So it's somebody else. So tell me some things about this man. Tell me some things about the star, about these options and stars and fancy four. Okay, I said that's him. He's tired. This is a tired lover. Ooh, hold on. This is. Oh, oh wow. Okay, so let me see y'all. Let me get these cards out to show you what they're talking about. Okay. Wow. This man, I'm telling you, 
and then at the bottom of the deck it's the nine of swords and the, underneath of the nine of swords it's the eight of swords okay so okay so we got a real big do we gotta do it's gonna tell you exactly what's going on 1014 it's going to tell us exactly what's going on here with this man okay so let's get it let's see what if the knife of swords is the knives of swords oops sorry y'all <laughs> my book's upside down this thing's got about four different five different um um languages here this is the biting this is the magic of the bitter almond this is the enemy of the couple are both inside and outside of it. They should take a look at each other. Vigilant does not distract from pleasure and pleasure does not distract from vigilance. All right. So this should, just because her butt is fat, that shouldn't deter him from, you know, where her brain is. You know what I mean? Just because of pleasure, you know, just because it's vigilant in his eyesight. So tell me about this two of swords. Two of swords is about the invitation, inviting. The, this is the magic of the black chicken. So empathy and understanding are born of uh, promise. The right thing and then keeping one's own promise. So this is somebody's promise here. This is on the pentacles. Give me something on the pentacles. Five of Pentacles. This is the completeness, the magic of the rose and the violin. Somebody gonna come and depress you. You cannot give up on transformation, the walk transforming the world around you and making it more similar to your ideas. After all, the world is the home of your um love. So there you go. So if somebody wants to come and sing you the violin on this, and then they want to come on here and talk about the kissing, the magic of the ribbon tied around your leg, the force of understanding, the desire, and the craving of nostalgic helps to rediscover a feeling you thought you had lost. This is the Queen of Pentacles. This is the coolness, the magic of the bay leaf. You must fight coolness and convince your partner to be generous, both um, sentimentally and materially. This will bore, bring serenity, safety, and sincerity unto the couple. Into the couple. So you got to make sure that he is sincere when he comes. Not just bring you sex, but bring you money, bring you other things too. Bring you knowledge and wisdom. You know, you want to learn and grow from your partner. You don't want to just have one aspect of your relationship that is, you know, flourishing. Sex, that is the, like the lowest part of it. You want to have be able to something that y'all could do things, commonalities and things that you could find to grow your relationship and make it stable for a better union, for a better foundation, for increase in your empires and your success and your abundance and your you know prosperity okay so here we got you guys tired here on the seven of pentacles we got you guys here just tired and wore out you know about the things y'all have been doing Yep. This is the tiredness, the magic of the seven knots. A love cannot remain pure and precious over time um, unless you can learn how to give energy to your partner. So this person is an energy sucker, vampire, this divine masculine. He is a vampire sucker. He's got toxicity. Even though the devil card did not show up, in this situation, it's showing us that he is the wounded warrior in this situation. He is wounded. He is showing his woundedness in this situation. Bandaged. 
and wounded, you know, blocking you out, you know, he, you know, is not, he's un, you know, unwavering in his situation, he's like back and forth, okay, and now we're in the Queen of Wands, and the Queen of Wands lets us know that this is the undressing, the magic of the untwined rings, this is the, um, Honesty and devotion between partners are born of daily pleasures. You must seduce your partner every day as if it were always the first time. So, um, yeah, in that aspect, this person wants you to, you know, replay your first encounter every time y'all make out with each other. You know, and it's nothing wrong with that, but are you getting anything out of that re? passion that old memory what's happening in that in that moment okay is that all of the aspect of your relationship that first moment is there any other new game moments that can be you know um virtualized in y'all in y'all encounters that could make things better you know so that is where that is and then we got this world here Oh, wow, these two exes and lovers, and, ooh, man. This is the gratification. This is the magic intimacy. The touch ensures um, continuity. A gratifying and complete relationship, peace, and lasting happiness. A serene family. All right, and then we got the Six of Swords. We got the rolling about. This is the magic of the in in the verbin, verbin in the brook, searching for new horizons involving a couple as it involves a single person. Outside of your daily routine lies the rest of the world. Um, so this person goes and seeks another attention from somebody outside of your relationship, and this person is doing this. Um, unbeknownst to you so tell me some things about what they've been doing um, behind this person's back tell me this uh -huh. tell me some things about what they've been doing behind this person's back this is the woot woot so this is what they've been doing they've been wooting the shit out of somebody this is the magic carpet this is how they be getting down this is how they work around town how they get down this is how they fly around on that six nostalgia going back to some old past lover this is some solar plex stuff. This is some strong passion. And bazinga. You know what I mean? That's 70 show. Tell me some things on this three of wands here. This is that bazinga. Tell me some things about that knock knock. This is the joke they on. They might be knocking on some other bitch's door right now. This is the solar, the, the solar power. This is at your service. They do this at this person's service. Anytime that person calls. What's up boo? How you doing? Can I come over? Can I come over? No. You can't come over. All right, this is the smooth and easy. This is how smooth and easy it be. Yeah, this is how smooth and easy it be. Tell me about this um, Queen of Pentacles. What's she about? This is about the sticky wicked. Sticky wicked. So this is how she's sticking it and wicking it to him. <laughs> That's that hot and passionate. All right, that sticky wicked. It. All right, I don't even know that, but all right. Let's hear it. All right, so let's see about this Nine of Wands and stuff. They was talking about. Yeah, let's talk about it. Let's talk about this nine of passion and they got and stuff. And um, you know, how that's just feeling to them. Nine of one, nine of ones. No. They said the three. Three of Wands, achievement, focusing on new opportunities. Um, this is um, the opportunity hints on us to horizon. Your past is open. A time of accomplishment holds a clear vision. Focus on efforts and hits the road. Go, the, go in the distance. So this person likes to go the distance, whatever it may be, person, place, or thing. This is how they do it. This is how they survey. See what's, what's, see what's popping. Go down to the corner store, see who down there got they out, what they, you know what I mean, what they bonded on, who knows. Alright, the next one is the celebration and victory, the unbridled joy of marriage. This is the celebrating of your achievements, joy in the air. 
uh, do a victory dance. You're heading in the right direction. Find your rhythm and go with the flow. It can't indicate a marriage or sometimes a gathering. Blessings upon a new venture. So a new venture is heading your way. And then this is awful to stifle in the conflict. And this is the competition and chaos. Security is a threat. And it's uh, being spun in a chaos. And the element of surprise is um, an insta um, instability um, between introduced into the situation. And challenge, accept, and watch your back. Alright? And, um, and then the next one is... see what part of you is ready to emerge the key words here is healing balance hope and inspiration hope renew find your rhythm and wish wishes fulfilled everything comes back together in a new and healthy way you're clear and clean and ready to rise like the phoenix from the ashes um Losing hope, empathy taking over, obsessing over something lost, unsteady movement, and a period of poor health. So, yep, that's that. And then it says, um, joy and bliss and success and birth. A lightning heart, a lightness is a has arrived. Um, this is a time for joy, happiness, and success, and pure potentials. And this is the ability to see the bright side. Um, counting your blessings, and life is good at this time a fresh start is starting a, a, um, straight ahead because the narrow of the straight and narrow is right narrow straight and narrow birth childbirth and issues related to children all right sometimes setbacks is here joylessness and or loneliness um, inability to see the good in front of you and this is a, a Pollyanna attitude that refuses to address the problem, okay? And then we have the, um, then we have the travel and movement in progress and good news, a swift movement, the end in sight, and the progress is in all, of all things, receiving good news and blessings is arising, the divine intervention is here. As well, and on this who and uh, this is the um, awakening. So we're gonna check that out. This is what are you being called to do? This is your rebirth, your higher calling, and this is in the in epiphanies. Just like I told you from the beginning, you may be seeing epiphanies, hearing epiphanies. You know, getting these premonitions about this, that, and the third, where it showed you that reflection. And uh, you can see the light as last. And now that you can see out, um, understanding the consequences of your past actions, um, this is a time of reckoning, forgiving, and letting go and raise to a new. And then we got the sun. And then we ready. And then it's like that joy and bliss. And you know what I mean? That's it. And you know? Balance and temperance and moderation and harmony. Peace and harmony and alchemy right now. Right. So, yeah, that's where we are with that. And that's great. That's some great messages. And that was, like, really came through to us. So, let's see. One more. Oh, this is somebody got some weariness here on this nine. Holding ground and setbacks before a finale. And this is the wounded behavior, anxiety. And so, this is some fear and worry and doubt. So, you got to go into trusting you know our higher power power matthew 6 and 24 6 and 25 6 and 26 and 6 through 36 through 34 okay casting your anxieties on him and this is going to be he knows your real needs attempting to change things that has um no control over us and looking your best, whatever it is. Oh, you of little faith. God to provide. Um, kingdom of God. You know, the all above things. Okay. And this is going to be um, what you sacrifice. 
Um, and the reason why things happen this way is because you fail to trust God and provide to be your problem too. When you fretting and worrying and having my double mindedness, you know, you know, and knowing that troubles, you know, God never taught us to, you know, he wants us to live with peace and joy and all of those things. But if we having something that's burdening us and worrying us, you know, we got to be able to be able to live so how can you live like this without peace so you got to let it go and live it to him and he would bear our problems so in that aspect okay so that is that and we're going to move forward so like today i'm feeling like this is like a jigsaw puzzle like it's jigsaw together it's a lot of different things going on here that um are underneath here tell me about these magic carpets open your present tell me some things this is about um things you shouldn't keep in your trunk on this magic carpet you know a magic carpet don't got no trunk but this is what he keeping in his back pocket okay so this is the things that grow on trees that's smooth and easy so you know these things grow up real easy like money things that don't go together on this you know going around and meeting people in the woods and you know relusting people outside in public public display of affection things you don't like to do but have to on the after service and pleasing other people pleasing and doing things of such sticky wicked things that would make your life easier on this five of wands that if you know you could you know you know <laughs> have this woman at your beck and call whenever you wanted her to be there okay Take things that you shouldn't do when you're naked. Yeah, this is the naked true fear and things that get too crowded. And there was too many people here in this situation and things that a teacher shouldn't say. This is a lesson you're going to learn here as well. So, yeah, this is some things that's going to have to take place. You know, Mother Earth, uh, Grandmother Earth is here. And, you know, tell me some things about this magic carpet. This is home. This is how you go home. This is how you take care of home. You know, tell me some things about this smooth and easy. 2725. This is some love here. The smooth and easy on this love money that grows on trees. The love of money. Love of material gain. Things that need clarity on the things that would make your life easier on the clarity. So you got to go within so you could get that still. Um, that battle may not be yours. All right. And this is on the empowerment. On the empowerment on this whoop, whoop this is this empowerment the, the the sexual lust and um temptation is what you know empowers you to keep going forward with, with this on the sun the willpower yeah this is what brings you to this to your naked truth you know your um a psychic abilities your courage that's your fight or flight that's your you know alert system telling you something and this is the good luck on that and this is the closure all right, so we're going to close right out on that. That's all they wanted to tell us on that. Anything else y'all want to tell us here about this situation? This is the turn away right now. Turn away. This ain't going to serve you. This is not going to serve you. You know? All right, tell me the trust. Tell me what's the trust in here. We're going to get some more sexual magic and tell us what the trust in here and what's the turn away. Turn away from what here? They said turn away from putting stuff in your mouth. Turn away from... Not saying stuff to him. This is the two of cellists. And this is the nine of wands. So this is about him being guilty about something that he's done. This is about the four of, you know, four of pentacles. This is about him lusting about the thing. Some guilt that he has for nine of wands. Nine of wands. Real quick, y'all. This is the caress, the magic of the little bird. When a, mess, a situation is suspended or blocked by doubt, you must hurry to resolve it before it cannot go into for it go cannot go into forever. All right, so that's what this is about. So this may not go into forever because there's another party in the background. Somebody has the trust, trust that there's somebody else, and this is gonna have to take some more, you know, examining because in the background back there is somebody else back there. Okay, and then this is the uh, two of cellists. These two are making love in the in the in the in the, in the thing here. 
to a jealous. This is the involvement. This person is involved with somebody else. This is the trust. If this person is with somebody else and they're not speaking about it, to turn away. This is what they're not speaking up about. Okay. This is what they're not speaking up about. Okay. The trust. All right. And I would tell you this is her trying to put something in her mouth, but I also think of this as him trying to get something out of her mouth, something to get her to say something out your mouth. Okay. Other than that, he would have had it in her mouth. Okay? Okay, so that's that. And then this is the, the wands. This is the five of wands, nine of wands. Yeah, the nine of wands was the caress. And the two of chalice was the involvement. And then the four of wands was the plan. This is the magic of the seven beings. Sexual intent is born of plan and enjoyment. Just as a harmony is born of happiness. So, yeah, this is the playfulness that they come with. And if you are liking these types of readings and they have interest you, may you subscribe, like, and share, and hit that bell notification so you don't miss another upload. As well as hit that thumbs up, and please stay to the end of the video. Namaste, now I must go.